The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that all infants delivered under 1,500 grams be placed in supine midline position for the first 72 hours of life to help prevent intraventricular hemorrhage. Studies have also shown that one in two babies now develop some degree of plagiocephaly and many also develop torticollis. Preterm and sick infants are at an even higher risk for these problems. Hi, I'm Dr. Jane, board certified pediatrician and neonatologist, here to tell you about our precision head positioning system for micropremies, premies, and healthy newborns from zero to six months adjusted age. This is the total positioning system. This system consists of two different totals the NICU midliner and the total air. Let me introduce you to the total midliner. Its purpose is to provide you and your staff with a tool to help you prevent and treat cranial asymmetry and head preference. The total midliner is an FDA cleared lightweight adjustable knit beanie with two support rolls to help position the baby's head in the supine midline, side lying and prone positions thereby allowing nursing and therapists to follow a positioning plan which will support self-regulation, psychomotor and neurobehavioral development. It has a midline front opening secured by Velcro to enable minimal handling and avoiding unnecessary stress to the baby. The midliner is compatible with many NICU devices such as nasal CPAP, nasal cannulas, feeding tubes and belly shades. First, Open the Velcro front, loosen the Velcro side tabs, position the baby in supine midline position, and with the front of the midliner open, slide the back of midliner under the baby's head. Both positioning rolls should be resting equally on the bed surface. Close the front of the beanie using the Velcro, and adjust the elastic Velcro side tabs for snug fit. Respiratory devices can also be secured at this time. Nasal cannulas can be secured under side tabs and should be cinched over the top of the midliner for the best fit. Nasal CPAP tubing and feeding tubes can also be secured using the side tabs and loops. Ties are included in every package. The extra colored Velcro straps may be used to secure billy shades with the midliner closed or open. While open, you can use the support rolls as a bilateral boundary to allow scalp IV placement or other procedures such as head ultrasounds. Adjusting the midliner to each individual baby is easy. Simply make it smaller by using either the extra straps or ties as shown. For side lying or prone position, simply release the Velcro from the support rolls and tuck the roll under the baby's head and log roll the baby into side lying or prone position. Make sure both rolls are positioned posteriorly to the baby's head. Respiratory devices should not require readjustment. For skull molding or treating abnormal head shapes such as dolichocephaly or scaphocephaly, open the Velcro and loosen the side tabs. Turn the infant's head from midline to the desired position to precisely treat the cranial asymmetry. Close the Velcro front and adjust the side tabs for a snug fit. The total midliner comes in three sizes, ELBW, 500 to 1250 grams, micro preemie, 1250 to 2000 grams, preemie, 2000 to 3500 grams. When baby's ready to be transitioned to the back to sleep program, you will be able to introduce the infant to the second total in the positioning system. It's called the total air. The total air is designed to be used in the NICU, PICU, high risk follow up clinics, PT and OT clinics, as well as cranial facial and rehab clinics. It can also be used at home after discharge to continue head positioning. Like the midliner, it is an FDA cleared adjustable cotton blend knit beanie. 
But unlike the Midliner's two support roles, it has only one single support role designed to continue in the prevention and treatment of abnormal head shape and head preferences. This total can be used in all carriers and cribs once the baby has been discharged from the hospital. And parent education is extremely simple. Position the baby's head in the desired position with the front of the beanie open Slide the back of the beanie under the baby's head with a support roll between the back of the head and the baby's ear. Close the front of the beanie using the Velcro. Adjust the side tabs for a snug fit. Ensure the total air is pulled down over the baby's ears and down to the nape of the neck. It should be removed and repositioned with staff positioning plans or at feeding times. Simply alternate the support roll from side to side between the ears and the back of the infant's head. If the baby has flat spots, Total Air can treat the problem by placing the support roll on the area of flattening until the head shape has improved. If the baby has a head preference or there is a tight neck muscle, Use the support roll to direct the baby's head to the other side and place the asymmetric muscle on passive stretch. Like the midliner, the total air can be used to secure nasal cannulas and feeding tubes. Total air comes in three sizes. Small, 5 to 10 pounds or 0 to 2 months. Medium, 10 to 15 pounds or 2 to 4 months. Large, 15 to 20 pounds or 4 to 6 months. Neither product needs to be removed when performing x-rays. They're completely x-ray friendly. And if either of the products are soiled, they can be easily hand washed in cool water and air dried, or they can be run through residential washers and dryers. The medical problems that can develop in the first six months of life, if not prevented or treated adequately, can lead to very expensive interventional care. Associated problems include developmental delay, both cognitive and motor, as well as sight and hearing deficits, and many other medical problems. My mission was to create a system that would revolutionize preventative positioning.